Hello, I'm Jessica and welcome or welcome back for another great workout. Today we are going to be taking a standing walking workout, focusing on increasing the heart rate, getting into some good cardio today and burning some body fat. You do not need any equipment today, just to make sure that you have space to move. You can use a chair if you feel more comfortable having something to connect to as you move side to side challenge your balance just a bit and work in our walking exercises. All right, go ahead, get yourself ready and we're gonna get started right now. Great job here. We're gonna get started sending those feet hips distance apart, trying to get equal spacing from the toes to the heels. It's okay if it's a little bit off. And we're gonna start nice and easy, pedaling those feet, moving those arms, and right away, see if you can engage through those core muscles, pulling them up and in. Gentle stretching here through the arches of the feet. A few more. Great, let's plant the left foot. Step the right foot forward just a touch and tap those toes on the floor. Most of your weight is in the left leg. Keep the heel of the right foot connected to the floor. Feel those shin muscles warm up. It doesn't take long before you feel them working. Slide that foot back in. And we're gonna take the same thing on the left. Shift body weight to your right leg. Tap those left toes keeping the heel connected to the floor. Great job. Really important muscles here for fall prevention, ankle health, knee health. We wanna keep them nice and strong. And again, it doesn't take long before you feel them working. Beautiful job, slide that left foot back. Let's go ahead here. Send those hips side to side, keeping a soft bend in the knee, stretching that outer hip here. You can bend the body over from the top half, from the waist, opposite direction as long as it feels good. Start gentle and easy with yourself here today. And keep that throughout this whole workout. If something doesn't fit for you, modify or substitute in a different exercise. Your health and safety absolutely comes first. Bring those hips back to the center. Let's tuck the tailbone back. Lengthen the body forward just a little bit. Tuck that tailbone forward. Roll it back to a flat back so I don't want you overly arching through the low back. We're gonna tuck it forward and bring it back just to a flat back there. Great job, see if you can start squeezing through some of those sitting muscles. Getting the core warmed up. Beautiful job here. If you would like, you can go ahead and bring the upper body into this movement. A little bit of a standing crunch. We will be using the core muscles today, so of course we want them nice and warm. Great job, bring it on up. Give me a nice, easy march here to start. You will notice that that heart rate will gradually increase throughout our exercises and keep it at a level that feels good for you. If you feel like that heart rate gets too high, you're struggling to take breaths, just slow the movements down or make them a little bit smaller. Work within a comfortable and challenging range for yourself here today. Let's pick up this pace. Move those arms, widen those feet, just a touch here. Beautiful job. Bring them back in. Let's work with this. Widen out, narrow it in. Widen it out. Great job, we are going to add on narrow it in. We're going to widen it out, drop those hips just a bit, bring it in and drop, stepping out and stepping in. Try to alternate your stepping legs. If this is uncomfortable for you, keep it up high here at the top. We're just sending those hips back, getting those leg muscles nice and warm. Heart rate is increasing here. I won't leave you here for very long. Bring it in and march that out. Great job there. 
We're gonna walk here in place and tap those toes to the front. Alternating toes here. Point the foot, point the toes down towards the floor, opening up mobility through the front of the ankle. Arms move here, keeping that heart rate smooth and working in this fat burning zone. Keep going here with me. Core muscles pulled in tight. Shoulders out of the ears, even though those arms are moving today. Not a good reason to create tension in the neck. Don't stay up here. Lengthen it down. Bring it back in to a march. A little bit quicker this time, or maybe a little bit higher with the knee. I wanna keep this low impact. Make sure you're landing soft into the feet, keeping a soft bend in the knees. Whew. Wonderful job here. Let's take that move just a little bit bigger this time. And we're gonna take that to kicks, pointing those toes and ankles down towards the floor. Beautiful job here. Little bit of a soft, soft squat in the middle, optional. You can stay up here to the top. Move those arms, reach them out as the leg extends out, pull them in. Great place for a chair if you're still not quite confident in your balance. Good, as you extend this leg, knee comes up first, and then the foot extends out. Focus on these thigh muscles here. Same rules apply through the rest of the body. Core pulled up and in, shoulders out of the ears. Wonderful job here, nice and easy. Soft dip through the hips. Again, optional, you can work with it for a few. Come out of it and come back to it when you're ready. March it in here, great job. Move those arms, move those legs. Let's go ahead and just take a little walk side to side, to the left and to the right. Move those arms, I've kind of got small circles going here. If you find a movement you like better, go ahead and work that in. Small tap of that outside foot as we get to the side. Try to focus on landing on the whole foot here. Great job. Also focus on not rolling to the inner or outer edges of the foot. So think about from the toes all the way to the sides, down around the heel and the inside of the foot. Whole connection of the foot to the floor. The only thing elevated is hopefully that nice arch on the inside of the foot. One more set here. We'll bring it back to this right side and march it out. Great job hanging in here. You're doing an amazing job with these exercises. Let's go heels to the front this time, alternating between right and left. Moving those arms still. Flex those toes up. Great job opening mobility through the backs of the ankles here. We're improving our balance. We're definitely strengthening through the legs, getting our heart healthy cardio and fat burning in. We might as well take the opportunity to strengthen these feet and work on the foot and ankle mobility while we're here. Get the most out of this workout here today. Land soft in that heel. I know it's tempting to kind of just let it flop to the floor heavy. Use those muscles to control that landing. One more set here, right and left. March it out. Whew. Beautiful job. So we are about at the height of our heart rate intensity here. 
I would like to think that this is a moderate intensity for heart rate. If it's too much, if it's not enough, definitely adjust these exercises to suit your individual needs here. We're gonna, again, take those leg extensions to the front, like our toe taps, this time with more of a heel tap movement. So you're gonna bring the knee up, extend that leg out, the foot out, with the toes flexed up so they're not pointing to the floor here. Great job. Make sure you are solid in your landing foot before you bring your leg up <laughs> so you do not want to find out that you weren't sturdy and stable. Of course, like I mentioned, you can use a chair if needed. Pull those toes up. Keep going here. Move those arms. You can stretch them out. Sometimes you just gotta focus on the movement a little bit before throwing in other body parts. Toes straighten up. You may feel a stretch through the calf. That's okay as long as it's gentle. There's no pain. Beautiful, here. Core muscles are working here. Pull them up and in. They're stabilizing this body as you're shifting weight from side to side. March it out here. <sighs> Quick little break if you need to bring the heart rate back down. Take it to an easy march. <laughs> if you're still good to go, stay here in this march with me. We are going to tap the feet out. We're not gonna be walking side to side. We're just gonna take a side tap each side. Great job here. Master this. Make sure as you side tap, if you are bouncing through the body, that that feels good in the knee. You can eliminate that movement if it's uncomfortable in the hips, low back, knees, or ankles. Great job. Listen to your body here. Side tap. We're gonna add on to this. Rather than tapping to the side, we're actually going to step to the side. Beautiful job. Whole movement here. I would like your standing leg to push you over rather than your lifted leg reaching. So use the foot that's connected to the floor, pushing the body over to the side, strengthening those muscles. Wonderful job here. Keep it moving with me, smooth and steady. Make sure that your step is not so big that as you come to the side, you feel like you're putting pressure into the knees, into the sides of the ankle, where you can land flat on the foot and where that leg bone stays over the ankle is perfect. We don't wanna lose control of that movement. Now we are going to add on to this one as well. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a break in between. March it out again. If the heart rate needs to come down, just slow that walk down a little bit. And if not, you can keep that pace a little bit higher. All right, so this time, we are going to step to the side. It's not the side tap. We're gonna to step to the side and then we are going to tap inside, out, and then step it to the other side. If it sounds confusing, I promise it's simpler than it sounds. We're gonna go ahead here, step it to the right, tap it out, step it to the left, and tap. So one side step with one tap. Great job here. Coordination, we're gonna make the brain work. Stabilize through your standing leg. Foot on the floor is the foot that pushes you over to the other side. You're not reaching with that lifted foot. Now I'm curious how much we can add on to this before it just turns into a whole mess. <laughs> Great job. Can we 
step it to the side, side tap, tap it to the front, step it, side tap, and front. Great job, it's okay if you mess it up. We're getting the brain communicating with the body. That's all we need. It does not have to be perfect. We'll take a few more of these here. I think I might have missed that one. And we'll get some arms back in here. Let's take one more set to the front. Side step, side tap, front tap, back here. March it out. Whew, great job here. Feel those legs working. We've got a little bit of work for the core. We're going to bring ourselves high march here. Arms are gonna start nice and easy, just drawing over the lifting knee. Focus on your balance here. And then we're going to turn twice over the lifting knee. It's gonna force you into a bit of a balanced position. If it's too much, keep the toes connected to the floor or fingertips to a chair. Great job here. Small little corner turn. Not just moving the arms, use those core muscles, feel the work. Keep them coming here. You're doing wonderfully. Great job. As the muscles get tired, it's gonna get a little harder to balance. Tap the brake if you need to. One side is probably better than the other. Lower to the toes when you need to. And then we'll come back, march it out. How are you doing? So proud of you making it through these exercises, showing up for your health and fitness. When you get challenged, find that reason that motivated you to come here and find a workout. Hang on to that as we go through our last few exercises here. Tap it to the back. I would like you to think about not tapping straight back, but almost like the corner of a box. Great job here. So not straight back, back and out to the side a little bit. Arms move, but even better than them moving right here close to the body is if they can counterbalance you. It's a bigger movement. It's gonna make the heart Rate come up a little bit, so make sure that that works for you. Good, think about yourself in a small square. You're hitting the corners. Use the back of those leg muscles to reach it back. Let's go here, a few more. Hold it and bring it in to the center, walk it out. All right, back to a little bit of a wider stance here. Move those feet, pick up those knees, and we're gonna stretch those arms out, tap to the legs here. Now, it could be as simple as fingertips touching lightly to the sides of the thighs, it could be maybe you go to the bottom of the thigh and touch those fingertips underneath. Wherever works for you. If you need a modification here, toe taps just fine. Great job here. Find that work. Core is working. Use those core muscles. Try not to shift out of the movement. If you lose your balance a little bit, try to see if you can correct a little bit. So rather than kind of falling out of the movement, see if you can stabilize. Oh, it starts so easy. This is a sneaky one for the core. 
One more set. Bring it in. March it out. Great job here. Let's go ahead. Take the right foot to the front and we're gonna walk it forward and back in a little bit of a toggle here. How much body weight you put into it is up to you. Leaning a little more or a little less body weight to that right foot. Arms here, lean it back. Open those arms. Whew, great job. We're gonna start our cool down here and let's go ahead, switch it over. Left leg to the front, get comfortable with this movement first. And then same thing, open those arms as you shift body weight to your back foot. And close them as you shift it forward. Hopefully this was a fun workout. You enjoyed it. Great way to burn body fat at home. Like I said, strengthen the legs strengthen the feet and strengthen the ankles and knees. Take it here. Oh, march it out. Well, walk it out. Smooth and slow. Shoulders roll up and back. Exhale on the way down. Inhale as you bring the shoulders up. Exhale to lengthen them on down. Slow those feet just a little. Let's take a side step here. <sighs> We're gonna bring that heart rate down nice and easy. Working through some dynamic stretching. All right, back here. As we step out to the side, turn your outside foot, reach that arm around, step it in, step it out. Back foot turns forward, open up those back muscles, step it together. Great job here. <sighs> open up this body, stretch everything out. One more set here, right arm. And then the left. Great job, smooth steps here. Small side step with a little bit of a tap to the front. I guess to the inside rather than the front. All right, bring it to the center. We're gonna step the right foot forward, reach the left hand down, back up. Same thing, left foot forward, right hand down. Use that left foot to push yourself up and back. Nice and easy, pull those hips back towards the wall or whatever is behind you as you lean it forward. Nice hamstring, inner thigh stretch here. It should be gentle. Good, bring that right foot forward, flex those toes up. Left knee is going to bend forward as you soften yourself down to the front, step it in. Left foot forward, bend the right knee, hips go back. Keep those left toes up, small steps here. Just like that, feeling the stretch. Great job, great place for a chair if you need it. Heart rate returning to the resting rate. Step it out. Beautiful job here. Hips go to the right side. Gently bend the body to the left. Roll it through. Side to side here. Just big enough that you feel a good stretch. Don't be pushy or hard on yourself here. One more time. Great job. Level those hips back here to the center. Send them to the back. Swing them around to the right. Body is gonna counter move with these hips. As the hips go back, body comes forward. We'll take some of these smooth circles here. Working through the whole hip. 
through the ankle and the knees. Next time you take it to the back, hold it there, swing it around to the left, roll it to the front, use those core muscles to support the low back here. Bring it on back. Let's take one more here. And shimmy them out, heel, toe, or slow step to walk it back in. Thank you so much for joining me for this workout. We're gonna get this new year off to an amazing start. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you have, thank you so much for including me on your fitness and health journey. I will see you guys again for the next workout. I cannot wait. Until then, keep taking good care of yourselves. And as always, thank you so much for watching.